Now, some of you are not content creators or instructors using different devices in order for you to get your audiences to be engaged through your speech patterns and you're wondering how can I keep track of filler words alongside intonations in my speech in order for my lessons or delivery of instructions to be really accessible and also engaging for your audience and this is where I actually found this really fascinating when looking at this particular software which is called Clip Champ video editor and this here is really fascinating because it has a specific important tab that will be helpful to keep track of this and when you go to screen and camera to record any screen recorded version of your videos you know for them to actually understand how some stuff works in here these are a couple of interesting things that you need to be aware of on this particular tab there is a new tab right here after looking through at your default microphones and changing your camera view in this case i'm going to use this right here but most importantly this new tab which says coach off and it had a preview and i was like huh this is quite interesting in terms of what is this particular tab about and what does it have to offer for me as a content creator and it says that to get analysis of your recording speech, including pace, pitch, and feeder words. These are really huge key points to be aware of in terms of pitch patterns and delivery. And those three are really important enough for you as a content creator to have your audience to be engaged in your lesson. I'm working on it. I'm really, really bad in terms of delivering lessons, as you can see in my other videos, but I'm trying, I'm looking for ways to be better at this. And so this is where we're going to try it here. I'm going to deliver a specific short lesson and see how I'm actually consistent or maybe my pacing is way off. You never know at all when it comes to this particular experiment and so let's see what this has to offer so once i click on turn on speaker coach and we have this actually now going to be clicked on and i pick a specific screen in this case i'm going to pick screen two and i'm going to begin by delivering the lesson and so this is how it works hello everyone and i hope you found this really informative in terms of understanding what it's like for graphs and linear relations to work in mathematics most importantly, we're going to look at how we can plot graphs, either putting points on the graph and also transforming this to either it being a linear relation or a different relation. So that is our goal for this video. Now, once I have this, I'm going to click on stop here since I've finished my recording and we're going to see what this has to offer. And once I click on stop, this is how it's going to look like. So in here, we have either the option to retake the recording or we have the review speech or we click save and edit. So we're going to see review speech and see what this has to offer for us. So once you click on review speech, it says here that one, filler words, which says that fantastic, you didn't say too many filler words in your speech. This is really important because there are a lot of arms or particularly which i say all the time or always i always say that all the time so this is a nice way for me to be able to avoid those filler words you know for you as an audience to be focused on what i'm talking about not be distracted by the filler words next is repetitive language like for example i don't have any repetitive words he says nice work your variety of word choice will help keep your audience engaged that is amazing now, the next one here is a little bit lower than my expected because last time I had this same recording, it was around 135 words per minute, but this is a little bit shorter, which is around 129 words per minute. So it says that the pace is just right. Keep it up. And this shows a little graph of overtime recording of my speech pattern going from less number of words to now going up and a little bit down and then staying back at level part and that's okay now final part here is intonations and intonation says that in this case i do have no intonation variation which makes your audience lose interest and so try increasing the tone of your key points so i feel that that is something i need to work on and this here 
that is one drawback is just a little short segment and this short segment is the intro and the intro of your videos is really important for your audience to actually be engaged or they just check off from what you are presenting to them after another trial i figured that i made another mistake and this mistake involves repetition and this detection was really interesting from this software because it's able to detect one type of repetition that means that you actually made a mistake versus a repetition that is more emphasis and so in this part when i stopped at this particular recording i actually found the results to detect the repetition that is not really good and this repetition after clicking on review speech is really 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 i said it three times but my filler words were pretty good my pace was pretty good alongside my average and over time however my intonation is still the same so it's quite difficult to get the high intonation compared to this what i have here so this is really important because you need to nail your intro and your intonation is one of the most important things that our audiences will have to be engaged with you know for your video to be pretty much viral if you want that or increase your audience retention time on any platform so i hope that you find this really informative if you want to go back you can go back and see what this has to offer but here are the four things to be aware of one is filler words second is repetitive language third is spacing which in this case tells you the average or overtime and finally intonation so make sure this speaker coach you take advantage of it as a content creator and i'm going to be using this for sure because i need to be able to work especially on my intonations my, anytime i record a video and i check this out this kind of looks really on par as good for my filler words not that bad in terms of repetitive language pretty good or pacing however my intonations are not really the best in terms of delivery i feel i need to yell the point you know for them to hit home to you all that are actually watching my videos so once you go back you're going to either retake the recording review speech or save and edit now if you feel that the intonation is not right there in this case for me i'm going to retake the recording however if i feel that yeah i don't think it will impact my video performance then just click save and edit and once you have that there we have it we have our recording that will be shown right over here and so this is the recent one that i recorded and this is the previous one and when you look at the previous one and you move from one screen to another i think you'll be able to have an idea when i show you the score of this one here compared to this one that i just recorded so i hope you found this really informative let me hear your thoughts about this particular software which is coach analysis i guess and i'll speak a coach and do you think that you don't need this or do you think hey i think i need this to have my videos to be better in terms of delivery and have my audience to be on my videos for a long period of time because i'm actually hitting all the four essential key strokes of my speech patterns and see you all on the next one all the same stay smart as always and always believe in yourselves.